our time in LA has come to an end and we are heading on a road trip with this guy. I gotta say, this is probably one of the best looking camper vans that I've ever used. You know, usually they have a whole bunch of logos and stickers and all over, but this thing looks good. Supposedly this is seven months old only, so this is brand new Jeep. So not only is it good looking, but it's also super practical because here in the back, we have our own kitchen set up. We have a fridge right here that cools itself off while we're driving. And then we have our own little kitchen station. We can make breakfast here. My wife is making good food. You can have a cleaning station where you can wash all your dishes. And there's even propane stuff back here that you can use. Today on the menu, we got bagels, cream cheese, some smoothie because this is all easy to do while you're camping. If you guys are interested in renting out these Jeeps for a road trip yourself here in the USA, uh, they're from a company called Indie Campers. Not sponsored by them, but really great Jeeps, so highly recommend it. Look at my ready-made peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Anyone else a peanut butter and jelly sandwich fan? Comment below. I did not think it gets this cold in California. We are wearing sweater with a jacket right now. I think we got totally fooled because the first five days in LA was like 30 degrees plus, and this morning it's 10 degrees Celsius only. Honey, you feeling the cold? Oh yeah, she's feeling the cold. <laughs> You guys want to see where we slept last night? Let me show you. Just like that. So easy to set up. Now you guys are wondering, how the heck do you get up there? Let me show you how. All you need is your trusty ladder. Whoop. And then you leave your shoes down here. You just climb up into the tent. And voila. I just got to climb up here. And look at our views, straight from the tent. You see the beach and the water out there. This tent is surprisingly spacious. We're both sleeping here. It's probably a, you know, double queen size bed. It even comes with its own mattress. So it's super comfortable. We brought our own sleep bags from Mamut. Bought some pillows from Tarjay so that we can then enjoy sleeping in the tent. All I gotta say is this is not a half bad way to road trip around California. And then in the morning, when you wanna get out, just plop your feet down, and walk down the stairs. So yeah, the plan is to head up the coast. We're gonna do the Great Pacific Highway Road. Is it called Highway 1, I think? Uh, today our goal is to get a little bit south of San Francisco. And then the next day we're gonna enjoy some of the Mirror Woods and the Redwoods. Guys, check out these views. We've made it to Big Sur. We are so freaking high right now. Ah! We've done this drive one time before, but we did it in the nighttime which was kind of a shame because this place is epic. It's the most windy, curvy roads you can drive on. If you don't drive too fast, it's not scary, don't worry, but you get epic views all around. Honey, you look like you have your happy pants on. <laughs> yeah. Woo! I thought in today's video it'd be fun to show off my new drone, the Mavic Air 2S, which I showed off already in the what's in my camera bag video, but today is the perfect opportunity to test this guy out because we are out here in Big Sur, and let's just say it's a very windy day. And already after my first flight, I already realized such a huge difference between the DJI Mavic Air, which I've had for many years. You guys have seen that little guy. I'm pretty sure that if I would have flown the Mavic Air today, I would have lost it in the ocean immediately. It was so windy that I was in sport mode fighting against the wind in order to get those following shots of the car. So really glad to have the Air 2S on the trip because I wouldn't be able to get this epic footage without it. Some other cool features about the Air 2S is that you're getting a one inch sensor so you're gonna have a lot more information in the footage. You get 5.4K at 30 frames per second, you get 4K at 60 frames per second, you get a flight time of 31 minutes, which is huge. As well, you can film at H.264 and H.265 up to 150 megabytes per second. Look at my propellers just flying because of the wind. And as well, you got the 10-bit D-Log, so you're gonna get that nice flat picture profile for you to color grade 
once you're in the editing suite. All right, I think it's time to continue the trip. We just had our uh, brushing teeth moment and uh, now we're gonna head up, head up that way. I'm also very excited by the fact that I invested some money and got the smart controller, meaning I don't have to anymore connect my iPhone to the controller, which is always a hassle because whenever you're traveling, you might not have your iPhone charged, which means you can't fly a drone. But with this guy, you'll always have a screen and a controller ready at your use. It does cost a little bit more, but I definitely think it's worth it. Lunch, honey. Oh, I'm just having some carrots and hummus. <laughs> it's an okay lunch, but uh, check out those views. Honey, do you remember I almost tried to propose to you here like seven years ago? But you didn't. It was way too chaotic and I'm glad I didn't. We were on this road trip like seven years ago with my brother and his wife, my cousin and her husband. And I was gonna propose on this trip, but every time we'd be together all so close and I knew that my wife's very private, so I decided this is probably not the best place to propose. But it was an epic view, but we didn't do that here. <music> Gotta say that's one epic looking bridge. a wrap we've finished driving along the coast up Big Sur we're just about to head to grab dinner and go to the hotel but uh how'd you guys like the footage from the Air 2S I gotta say without the Air 2S I don't think I would really get the footage that I got today if I would have had the DJI Mavic Air like I used to it would have plumped into the sea because of the wind but the Air 2S super nice flying experience very responsive the screen never cut out one time, which is amazing. And that footage was just so crispy. So I think it was worth the investment to upgrade up from the DJI Mavic Air to the Air 2S. All right, we are so hungry. We're gonna go eat and enjoy the rest of the evening. Mm -hmm.